do it yourself home projects here from Karina I'm gonna show you how to remove the skirting before we gotta put our floorboards. The skirting boards along the floor. And they need to be removed to replace the flooring. Now the tools used, pry bar, as per this one. And Karina's just got something there to slide along to help keep the gap yeah. open. Lever it carefully away from the jib broke, or as you might call it, in other places, drywall. And it comes away quite easily. Carpets were removed, a section of carpet removed to free it up. Corners can be a bit tricky. Them that I'm just going to look that way the gap that's where I can start. You can size. You can size. Um, yeah. So what I'm doing is to look at if I could see there is a little gap that I can insert my tool, and that's where I start. Yes, and it's best if you can find one near. There we go. A stud, where it's nailed in, just to avoid damaging the wall. You can do this one at home instead of getting someone. So this this way to do it. Just do it slowly and gently, so we're not gonna damage the wall. We also want to retain the skirting board as they are a unique profile. It would be hard to replace. So everything needs to be removed intact. If you had a standard uh, skirting board, you could just rip it away and replace it with another standard. But this is a particular profile, as you can see. The nails also have to be removed and stay in the wall. They need to be taken out. And it may pay to notice the location of the stud. There's my screw here. My nail. You want to reattach your new skirting board. Also, use a stud finder. So, so let's just. Just 
No, oh, we'll leave going with that problem.